Hey guys, uh, Brandon here. Uh, today I'm going to be playing through uh, Orleans and I'm going to be using uh, one of the solo scenarios out of the Orleans Invasion expansion. Um, should be a lot of fun and since Orleans takes place in France, I am pairing that with a French Bordeaux uh, from Chateau de Pan. Uh, should be good. Uh, so. Let's get Orleans on the table, let's get the wine in the glass, and have some fun. Orleans set up for one of the solo scenarios. I'm using the capital Verzon uh, solo scenario. The goal is to complete all five of these objectives um, and those are uh, before round nine I have to spend ten dollars to hire a builder uh, and to mark that I've done that you just use one of these little pawns to say that you've completed that objective. Uh, this one, you need to build a trading station in Lox or Lox or Loches or whatever it is. Not so good on the French pronunciations. I'll try. Hopefully, I won't offend anybody. Uh, this one here in Vierzon, uh, you have to deliver uh, goods worth 12 victory points. And it's the same as in standard uh, uh, Orleans. Orléans, where uh, the brocades are worth five, uh, the wool is worth four, wine is worth three, cheese is worth two, and wheat is worth one. So yeah, you just have to have a total of 12 combined points between all of them and deliver it to Vierzon. Um, then I also need to, at some point, spend 25 coins uh, to make a payment to Vierzon. And uh, last one that you need to do is you have to have 28 total points worth of uh, trading stations and these guys. So just like in uh, Orleans, you add up how many trading stations you have out there, the number of those guys you've collected, and then multiply it by wherever your uh, token is on this track down here. So if you can make it to here, that's four times seven whatever would be 28 so just have to get 28 points in that stuff and those are the the five objectives that you're trying to meet before the end of the game uh, you play uh, 14 rounds and instead of using the tiles to determine what happens at the end of the round uh, at the end of the round uh, instead of using those event tiles you have predetermined events that uh, happen in each round based off of this map here. And just like in regular Orleans, this is a bag building game. Um, so you start with these four regular workers, just like usual, and you're gonna take actions on your player board. And then you also start in this game with a market stand, which if you use a black worker, that allows you to buy or sell goods in the market and you can do that two times with an action. Let's go ahead and get started and I'm, I'm gonna assume that you're familiar to uh, Orleans but I will also uh, kind of explain how it works as I go. So I start with these four worker pawns um, and then I can place them out on any of these action spaces out here. If I place a white, blue, and a red that will allow me to ship on this map like take my uh, my work my uh, meeple out here and move it along any of these blue shipping lines. So that's what that action will do. Wagon is a similar uh, action. It takes a white, black, and red, and it allows you to move along these roads. Uh, guild hall, if you do that, that takes a white, brown, and red, and that allows you to build one of your trading stations in the location that your guy is at. 
and that's pretty simple. Uh, castle, what you do here, you use a white, blue, and black, and that's going to allow you to advance uh, on this uh, night track. So you take this guy, move it there. So now, what, this is gonna have two different effects. One, it will get me uh, this red knight, which will then go into my bag. Then, the next round and every subsequent round, I go from drawing four of these discs to five of those discs. So that's gonna get you more workers that you can use in subsequent rounds. So that's what that worker space will do. Um, the scriptorum, if you use a uh, knight, which is one of the red guys, and uh, gray, which is one of the scholars, which is here, if you use one of those on this action space, that's just gonna allow you to move one space on this track down here. Uh, town hall, let's come back to that. A uh, monastery, you're gonna use a gray and a black worker, and that's gonna get you one of these monks up here. And monks are basically wild workers. You can use them in place of any uh, other worker. Some spots actually require you to use uh, a monk. Like if you get this cellar and build that, that's gonna allow you to get a monk. Um, so that's what the monastery will do. The farmhouse, you use a blue and a brown worker, and that's gonna advance you on this track up here. You move forward one, take a white worker, add that to your pool, and then you also are going to get one wheat, which you just take out of the supply, add it to your goods. Uh, if you move it up here, you get wheat. If you move it up here, you'll get a cheese. And it, it just gets better and better goods the further along that track you move. Um, if you come to the village, you use a white, blue, and a brown, and that's going to allow you to either move up, up, you're going to get one of these three choices. You can either take a blue worker here, move up on that track, that's gonna get you $2 and that guy. You can take a brown, which moves you up on this track, and that's going to get you one of these. One of these tokens, which you can then place on uh, a worker spot and now you no longer have to use a red worker in this space. So that's what that will do for you uh, if you take a brown. And the first one that you do cannot go in a white or has to go in a white spot. After that you're free to place them wherever. Okay, if you take a black, that's going to move that up, you can take a black worker and then that's going to allow you to build any one of these buildings out here. The first one that you do has to be one of these level one buildings. And then after that, you can do level one or level two buildings. Okay, so that's how you get more of these buildings. So that's here. If you go to the university, that's going to get you one of the gray guys. You use a white, brown, and black. That's going to advance you on this track, take the gray, and then you will get two advancements on this track at the bottom here. So that is all of the action spaces that you start the game with. Also during setup on the Capital Vier Zone scenario, you start with, there are only four available uh, workers of each type. You place 24 uh, goods out here randomly around Orleans, Blois, Tours, uh, Lotus or Lox, uh, Montrichard, Vierzon, uh, Sancerre, Bourges, and I believe that is it. So all of those towns, you basically just place a, a good in each path leading out from those, and that's the setup there. So there's 24 total tokens. Then you get 16 more uh, good tokens randomly and distribute them in to uh, over here for possible goods that you can get throughout the game. And that's the setup, that's the explanation of the game. So let's just start going. Uh, the first round, I cannot use the village action, is what that says there. So, 
I think it'd be nice to start off the game by getting my uh, the amount of discs I can draw up so that'll uh, help me out and get going. So I'm going to start by doing the castle action. Place a blue, white, and a black here. And I still have this worker left over, but it requires at least two to go into any location. So I'll just let him sit there. And that's going to advance me on this track. I take one of the knights, and then all those go into my bag. And now I can draw up to five. Luckily, I only have four in the bag. So I would just take all four and then place them out down here in the market. And then we're ready for the next round. This time I cannot go to the monastery. How about I go white, brown, and black. And it's gonna advance me there. I will take a gray. That moves me up two on that track. And that's all those guys. So now we're on to round three. So at the end of round three, I have to do a harvest where I have to give up either uh, wheat, cheese, or wine. And if I can't give up one of those, then I have to give up $5. So again, we're drawing workers and I'm drawing five still, but I only have four in the bag. Somehow I need to get a good. So I think I'm going to use a blue and a brown here because that will move me up on this track, which will get me a cheese and also get me a white, an additional white worker. And let's get our guy. Moving out here. We'll wagon it. And... We can do these actions in any order, so I'm going to go ahead and wagon first. So I take those three, toss them into the bag, and that's going to allow me to move on any of those four spots. Since there's a brocade up there, or brocade, uh, that's worth five victory points, or five money if you sell it. So I'll move there and take that. Right, good. Next thing I'm gonna do, advance on this track, take a white worker, the farmhouse action, and that's also going to get me one wheat. And now at the end of the round, uh, here is the turn order uh, marker. This is what you do in each round. Uh, we ignore the first one because we're not using the hourglass tiles in the solo game. Uh, you don't do the second phase, so that's out. All you do is draw followers, assign followers, carry out actions, and then resolve the event. So we're just doing steps three through uh, six there. So just four steps. So now we're resolving the event. I do have to do the harvest. So that will be that one wheat that I just got. And good to go on that. Now we're on to round four. And we're drawing workers. I'm drawing five. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So now remember, I need to get a builder before the beginning of round nine. So getting money, and that's going to cost me $10 to get that builder. So getting money it's probably a good idea. I will collect income based off of where I'm at on this track. So maybe I want to push that. I do have one round to get that done in. So I think instead I'm going to try to get some more guild halls out. So I will go brown, white, and red. Because remember, I still need 28 points by the end of the game, so getting those out is not a bad idea. And then I have a gray, white, and a black left, which won't. I could get myself a monastery. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to the monastery. 
so I can get one of those wild workers and really open up the actions that I can do. All right, so now we'll activate those. I'll just go ahead and do the guild hall first. So I'll put a guild hall up there. And that is that action done. And the monastery is simple, just take a monk. And that was that round. Uh, we're on to round five, and this round we're going to get income based off of where we're at on this track. We got one, two, three, draw two more, four, five. Well, that is incredibly unfortunate. I needed a brown and a black, and I didn't get either of those. So I'm not going to be able to advance there. So I need to get at least two spaces on this track in order to get any income at the end of the round. I guess I could put a red and a gray there. Yeah, I think I like that. And then with this white, I'm actually going to do the town hall action. And then I'm going to go white, blue, and then use that wild as a brown down here in the village. The reason I'm going to use this white in the town hall is because over here I can send it out to expanding the university. And what I do is I get this white disc completely out of my uh, pool of workers that I can use for the rest of the game. And he's either going to get me a dollar or advanced one on this track. And since I'm doing the scriptorum, that will advance me two if I use it as an advance on that track. So then I'll have enough to actually collect income at the end of the round. So send that guy there. He advances one. And I also get one of these citizen tiles. Which right now is worth nothing. I have to get to at least there and then it'll be worth two points. Okay. So now let's do the scriptorum. Which advances me again. And... For the last one, I think I'm going to do a village action here and advance one here, take a black, add that to my pool, and now I can build any one of these buildings. And this is really tough, because with the tailor shop, I could get a lot of these, which would allow me to then use the market stand and sell those goods in the market stand for a lot of money, which would help me out with this. So that would be good. The bathhouse lets you, uh, after you draw all of your workers at the beginning of the round, it then allows you to draw two more and then put one back. So you get an additional worker throughout the game, which is pretty awesome as well. The library allows you to advance two on this track, which is also good because you need to really push this track in order to score those 28 points at the end of the game. So all of those are good. The windmill gets you two bucks and uh, advance on that track. So those are all really good. The hay rack is okay. Uh, just use a white worker and you get one of these wheat, but that's only worth one dollar or one point. So that's not super awesome. I'm already a third of the way through the game. So, yeah, let's take the bathhouse and then maybe I'll build another black and start using that tailor shop to really get that money, that money engine going. So that's the end of that round. Now we collect income based off of where we're at. I'm at here, which is two stars times three coins, so that's going to get me six bucks. And now we're on to round six. And in round six, Amnesty says that any uh, worker that you get from uh, doing any of these actions, you can then, instead of placing that worker into your bag, you can then place it directly onto uh, another worker spot. So. Let's see if I can 
figure out a plan for that. I am drawing five. Two, three, four, five. And then I draw two and keep one. Well, the yellow is going to, the monk is going to allow me a little more variability there. So let's do that. All right, let's start with the village so I can get another, uh, another one of the move up on the black track and get that tailor shop to really start pumping those out. And let's go over to the monastery. And I think I'll just save that wild for the next round. So now to activate actions, I'm going to start in the village and yeah, let's start in the village, do another black, let's move up, I'm going to take that tailor shop, it's going to give me a black worker, and let's pop him right onto that tailor shop. I actually just did that wrong. Uh, you have to take the worker before you uh, move up the track and take the thing. So instead, I'll place that worker here. And those guys go into the bag. And now, take that monastery action. She's just going to get me one of these. And I can place this guy somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and place him on the tailor shop that I have that ready, getting that ready for the next round. Oh, and now I can activate this guy, which he'll allow me to sell this brocade for five. And now that I have $10, I'm gonna go ahead and spend that $10 to then complete this hire a builder. And now we're on to round seven. So let's move that along. And again, pulling out five workers. One, two, three, four, five. And then I draw two, keep one. Oh, well, that's not really a choice now, is it? <laughs> and now this round, at the end of the round, I'm going to end up losing a worker, unless it's one of the starting ones, which you can tell the starting ones because they have your color down here on the bottom half or the bottom quad part of the the disc. Well, I do know that I want to do the tailor shop to get another brocade. I think I'm going to use the farmhouse to get another white worker. Now it'd be nice to get my guy moving again. So let's do a wagon. And I really like to work up to the 25 coins. So let's go to the market stand and we'll sell the goods that I get this round. All right, let's start by doing our wagon action and moving this guy down here. And then we'll do the farmhouse. That's going to get me another white. And I advance on that track, which is going to get me another wheat. And now let's do the tailor shop, which will get me that brocade. Should have had one there. OK, and now I'm going to use the market stand and sell both of these goods which will get me six points, or six dollars. So I'm up to seven. And now I reach into the bag, draw one, and luckily it's one of mine, my starting ones, so I don't lose that worker. And 
we're on to the eighth round. And now in the eighth round, I cannot use any locations that have one of these technology tokens. Uh, I haven't done that at all, so that doesn't affect me. So now let's draw workers again. There is one, two, three, four, five, and then I draw two and keep one. And again, no real choice there. All right, well, let's keep going with the tailor shop. And I probably could use more workers each round. So let's come over here. And that'll be good for now. We can go ahead and activate. We'll start with the castle. So that's going to get me a red guy. Advances that forward. So now I'm drawing six guys each round. And then the tailor shop gets me another brocade. And that's the end of that round, and we're on to the ninth round. At the end of this round, every good that you have, you have to pay, or every two goods, you have to pay one dollar. Drawing guys, so I'm drawing six, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then draw two, keep one. And again, no real choice on that. Two blacks. I think I'd like to build a guild hall again. So I'm going to go brown, white, and red up here. And let's do the tailor shop again. And how about I go ahead and start to get myself a village. So we'll start do the guild hall. There's another one of those out there. And we'll do the tailor shop, which gets me another brocade. And we'll do the village. We'll advance on the brown and take a war. And this has to go on a white. So how about we put that on the wagon so we can wagon a little bit faster and start moving around the map some more. So now I have to pay $1 because I have two goods. And we are on to round 10. And notice I've got five rounds to complete four more objectives. This is not going super great. And at the end of this round, each, uh, guild hall I have out there, trading uh, station, I am going to get $2. So that's another way to get some money. And we're drawing six, three, four, five, six, and then drawing two, keeping one. Oh. So I got a brown and a white to choose from. Let's see, I think I'll wagon. Didn't draw super great this round. I'm gonna keep the white, I think. See how this goes. Okay, so for sure we know, got a wagon. And I think I'm gonna do the market stand again. So now, so I could ship, I could castle, that's about it. How about we ship, just get ourselves another good as we move along the paths over there. Because I have few rounds, I've got to get all the way down to Lokes, so that's going to take quite a bit of movement to get down there in very few rounds. So let's move twice this round in order to make sure that I can get there. All right, we'll start with the market stand. We'll sell both of these brocades or brocades for 10 total. And now we will ship. 
or not ship, we'll wagon first to get that, and then ship to come down from Orleans to Blois. And this is a total of three, four, so that's seven, which I either needed seven goods to be delivered to Vierzon, or 12 goods to be delivered to Verzon, or 25 point gold coins. And now we're going to collect, at the end of the round, we'll collect uh, for every trading post, $2. So I have two out there. So that's gonna get $4. So here is six, which gives me $10. So I'm at $20 at this point. All right. So now we're on to the conference. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Draw two, keep one. We'll keep the wild. So we'll do black and gray at the tailor shop. We'll mark it stand. Mm. We'll wagon. And with the conference, I just can't do the university action. But how about I do brown, blue, and yellow. Or I am going to need a good at the end of next round. So maybe instead of that, we come here. To get an additional good. And I set myself up to place another guild hall next round. Or... Hmm. Man, that's tough. Let's just save that last gold. Maybe I don't want a market stand. Ah, oh, I would only really save that to do the university, but I can't do that this round. Yep, we'll stick with that. So, now wagon. It's going to allow me to move there, which will get me that wine. Farmhouse. It's going to get me another white. Move that there. That's going to get me a cheese. Tailor shop will get me. Oh, keep putting those brocades away as opposed to back in the market. So tailor shop is done. And now market stand. Actually, let's. That is three, four, seven, and. Uh, Five is a total of 12. We're in Verzon, so that is complete. And market stand, I'm going to save the cheese because I need that cheese following round. So I will just sell this wine for $3. So I almost have the 25 that I need to build that fortress. So now I really just need to get to Lokes and I need to get 28 points worth of these and those. Right now I have three, I have six points in that. So I gotta get 22 more points. So I really need to focus on doing the guild hall moving up on these tracks to get these and then also moving up on this track. So it's gonna be close, it's gonna be real tight. All right, end of the round. So now get rid of that cheese. Oh yeah, and I did the market stand. Oh, wait, that's not this round, that's the next round. Save that cheese. That was the end of the conference. Now we're on to harvest round. So at the end of this round, I will need to have a cheese. So I'm drawing six, two, three. Four, five, six, and then draw two, keep one. I think I want that red. 
So let's make sure that I get the guild hall done. It'd be nice to go to the university as well. Oof. I'm gonna do the university like that. Now I have a blue and a gray left. Not gonna need grays for the rest of the game. So let's get that gray out of my hand or out of my pool. Cause now I'm just focusing on pushing up this track, which means that I need a white, brown and black. And I can get that gray over here. Yep, we're sticking with that. Okay, so we'll start with Guildhall. There's another one out. In Town Hall, we'll send this gray over here. And instead of taking the money, I'm just gonna take one on this track. And this is going to get me another gray, which will advance me there, which moves me three on this track. One, two, three, that gets me $3. Okay, and I have three, four, five, got $25. So that completes that. So I have two rounds to get two more things done. Whew, this is gonna be real tight. At the end of the round, I have to give up a good. So there is that cheese and drawing six. One, two, three. Oh yeah, move that to 13. Four, five, six, draw two, keep one. Keep that yellow. All right, let's go white, brown, black. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Let's go red gray and I'm gonna need to ship next round so I want to stick that there and that there I think nope we'll hold on to that just in case this is tight this is real tight all right so scriptorum that's just gonna move me up one so now I've got three points worth and four so that is twelve so I still need 16 more points worth of stuff. This is gonna be really close. So now the university, I take another gray. That advances forward, one, two, three, four. I get $4. Put a dollar back, take a five. And that is the end of the round. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Draw on three, one, two, three. four, five, six. And now I have to put two back into the bag. So let's see, I want the white. I would like the brown and the red. I don't need the gray. I'll put back one of the blacks. And now I draw two and keep one because of my bathhouse. Don't need that gray, so we'll take the white. All right, we'll stick a white here. White, brown, red, and black, and red. We are just shipping wagon and guild hall. So first ship moves us here. Take that brocade, and now wagon, actually, Instead of doing that, going to place that red there and we'll do white and do one final university. Yeah, so now wagon allows me to get to Lokes, which will give me that. Those go there and, oh, yeah, I needed to guild hall. So yeah, redo. Guild Hall, which places that there, which completes that. And now let's count up points real quick. I've got one, two, three, four, 
5 times 3 is 15. So I did not get the 28. I lose so close yet so far. Even if I had gotten two more spaces, I still would have only had 20. I needed to do this action one more time in order, because then I would have had six of those times four is 24, so I still would have been four short. Mm, a day late, but a dollar short. All right, well, that was Orleans. That was uh, one of the three solo scenarios, and uh, let's go back up top, and we'll talk about it. Thank you. 